In this video tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to Mango's users, groups and security functionality. Mango gives you a wide range of options in order to have fine-grained control over who has access to your maps and data and who can do what when they view them. So what we're going to begin with is the map that we started on screen here. This is the a public map that anybody can view who goes to this particular URL. So what I'd like to do first is we're going to add a password to this map. So I'm going to go back to the uh, administration area. Um, for this particular map and I can access the security settings by clicking the access tab on the left. There's two tabs, access and modify. Access says uh, who has permission to view the map, modify says who has permission to modify the map. You have lots of settings in here. Public means that the map is public and can be accessed by anyone. The map will also be listed on search engines such as Google. A standalone map is also public and can be accessed by anyone with the URL and will also be listed on search engines. The only difference is that it will not be listed in your map portal and it will also not have the links to the map and data pages in your portal. So if you have a map that you would like to be separate from all of your other maps, you can select this feature. We have a hidden map. The hidden map will not be listed on search engines or Google or anywhere else on the Mango site. Uh, and it will use a 128-bit hash in the URL which can't be guessed. So the only people who will be able to access this map are people that you've shared the URL with. The next option which we're going to use now is a password protected map. This is a simple and easy way to secure your map by adding a password. Okay, so let's configure that by pressing the settings button and I'm going to add my password in here and press save. And then we press save again here and this map is now a password protected map. Now, if we go back to our map portal, remember that in the top right hand side of the thumbnails that we view, it will always tell us what security level a particular map has. This map is password protected. Okay, so let's go back to our individual map for the non-signed in user that we were looking at before. So here's the map. If I now press the refresh button, you'll see that I can no longer view the map and I'm being prompted for a password. So I'm now going to type in the password, press sign in, and I've now been given access to the map. Okay, so that's, this, that's how password protection works. Also, as a public user, when I go to the map portal, uh, whilst I'm not signed in, we will see that that map is no longer listed in the map portal. Any maps that are marked as hidden, password protected, or have a uh, Custom, uh, custom permissions based on users and groups uh, won't be listed in the portal for non-signed in users. Okay, so that's how the password uh, protection feature works. Okay, so next we're going to look at custom security settings using users and groups. So let's go back to the administration panel again. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on the users and groups tab. Now users and groups allows you to invite other users into your Mango account and then they can join groups. Uh, a group might be a group of administrators, a group of managers, uh, a group of data editors, um, uh, a group of engineers, or any, any, other, any other grouping that you would, like, uh, you would like to create. And then what you do is you give those groups specific permissions on your maps and data. So we were working with the dealership map previously. So let's create a new group and we will call the new group dealers. So we add the new group and we can see it listed here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to invite um, a team member. So let's invite myself, Chris Brown, and let's put in my email address. Okay. Now the next step is you define their role. Um, you can have administrator, data editor, or private viewer. Uh, private viewers can only ever view maps and data sets. They can never be given permission to do anything else. Uh, data editors uh, can be given permission to edit individual data sets um, and administrators can be given permission to do uh, anything they like. Um, just because somebody's an administrator doesn't mean they can administer every map. You may have somebody who's an administrative user and you'd like to give them administrative rights on one map and on another map you'll only give them viewing privileges. So just because somebody has the role of administrator doesn't mean they can administer anything. You as the account owner still have full control over what they can access, edit and modify. Okay, and at the bottom here, we can decide which group we're gonna add this user to. So I'm gonna add myself to the dealers group. So I press the add member button, and now the new user has been added. Okay, so now that we've created that new user, let's change the permissions of our Texas sales map. So let's go into the map, 
and once it loads let's click on the access tab on the left now you can remember earlier that we set this to be a password protected map we're now going to set this map to be internal which means we're only going to give permissions to a specific group so we open up the permissions here and we can see right who has access to this map we have me the account owner and we're also going to give access permission to the dealers group so I'll now press save um, in the same way we can set the modified permissions as well but for the time being let's just set the access permissions and press save now if we go back to our map portal again we'll see that in the thumbnail this map is now marked as private this means that only groups and individuals who are members of those groups that have been given permission will have access to this individual map so let's go back in back again to our non signed in user if we press refresh again we can see that the map is still not listed because there are currently no public maps so let me go and check my email after we sent the invite uh, the person who you've invited will receive an email um, from Mango with information telling them that they've been invited to join uh, the specific team so all they need to do is click the accept invitation link and then they'll be taken into the account when they click the invitation link the first thing they'll be that will happen is they'll be prompted to set a password so I'm going to set the password and then sign in see now when I've signed in I now have access to the Texas sales map because this new user is a member of the dealers group and the dealers group has permission uh, to view this specific map you'll also notice that now the user signed in they can see the administration toolbar on the left but as you can see the options that they can see are very limited because this user is only a private viewer if you give people with roles such as administrator there'll be more options uh, that, you can, that you can make available for them if we click on the data portal we can see that there's currently no data sets that are accessible to me so let's go back and let's give the dealer group uh, permission to also access the, the data sets so I'm going to go to the data portal and I'm going to click on the sales 2016 data and now I'm going to click on the access settings on the left so at the moment um, it's internal users and groups only but the only person who has access is the account owner so now I'm going to give access view access um, to the dealers group so if I press save and save again we've now given access to that data set to the dealers, dealers group so if I now switch my browser and go back uh, to the account where I'm signed in um, as the private viewer and I press refresh we can now see that I have access to the sales 2016 data you can also uh, set the permissions in the same way for data editing um, and modification so if I was a data editor um, you could go to the uh, the editing permissions within the data set and give me permission to also edit that data set okay so that gave, gives you an overview of users and groups this is a powerful feature that gives you fine-grained control over who can access what who can edit what and who can make modifications to your map as with all the previous video tutorials I encourage you to go go and use our interactive setup guide that's available in the admin panel on the left that will guide you through all of the steps in order to create users and groups within your own account thanks for watching